uh, yeah, we felt great about it, and we had a few bumps beforehand. I mean, the weather shifted in Lubbock, and they actually ended up pushing the meet back an hour due to concerns of flooding on the course, and I don't think it helped whatsoever. There was a small river on the backside, and the kids were about knee-deep going through water for about 50 meters, but uh, they seemed to enjoy it, and it's true cross country. But yeah, for us to be able to go out there and compete against, you know, Tech, Oklahoma, UTEP, and come away with the wins on both sides, I think, was just a testament to how deep our roster is currently, and it's very exciting. I mean, we sat Louis Moreau on the men's side, who's typically, you know, in our top five, so we were able to do that without him. And then uh, on the women, obviously, we didn't run Eleonora, uh, who should be our number one at the moment, and we didn't run Lexi Mall, who's kind of bouncing off of an illness, and she's typically around our fourth. So I think we're in a really good spot moving forward to Louisville. Uh, you guys mentioned you didn't run Eleanor, but uh, so all five ladies mm -hmm. that did run finished the top 25 for you guys. What do you make of the success overall? Like yeah, I mean, in championship style racing, it's really the gap from one to five, uh, and I was pretty happy with that, you know, and hopefully once we get into the later part of the season, that same time will be our gap from one to seven. Right, and that's what you need is you're never going to have a day where the stars align and everybody's going to have a perfect race and an A-plus race. So for you to be able to have some depth in there and people competing for that top five is, is really, really good to see. Two meets, two victories, mm -hmm. and also not in victories with this team, but also with the winners. You pretty good early in the season. Yeah, yeah, and I think the, the kids definitely feel that momentum and they're excited. And I can tell you Sarah Coombsman just continues to impress me. She is unbelievably talented and I think we're only scratching the surface of what she's capable of. I mean she was with the individual from UTEP at halfway and she beat her by 40 seconds in 3k so I'm pretty excited to see what she does in a bigger race out in Kentucky. We'll go to Louisville. Louisville. Yeah yeah at the end of this month. So yeah. A couple weeks. A couple weeks yeah. Yeah just really big training volume still right now and then we'll kind of back off freshen up their legs and We'll head out there Wednesday, have Thursday, Friday to get the travel out, and then try to really race fast Saturday. Yeah, it's um, for us, it's really big because it's cross regional competition. So some of the best schools in Division Two will be there, um, and it can help us, you know, get in that large bid for the national meet if we end up not autoing at our region. So it's really, really important that we go there and race well. You know, speaking on uh, this last week, you know, what, what do you guys get out of competing and kind of comparing yourselves in a way that? schools like Tech and like UTEP that you kind of mentioned? Yeah, well, I, I try to tell our kids whenever we get on the line, like, don't worry about the name on the jersey or, you know, how big the university is. Let's just compete to the best of our ability. And I think they really do that. And uh, we got on that line with Oklahoma Tech, UTEP, and there's some great runners out there. And nobody once mentioned to me that they were scared of anybody out there. So I, I think we have a lot of confidence right now, and I think we're ready to, to race fast at the end of the season.